Hey everybody, it's Uptown, and welcome back to another little announcement video. Coming up very soon this month, there is a convention happening here in the Pacific Northwest called KuroNekoCon. It also happens to be one of my favorite conventions here in the good old PNW area. And when I say it's one of my favorites, I genuinely mean that because it's run by some very loving, very passionate people who have always treated me very, very well. I've been going to KNC for a long time, for many, many years, both as just a regular attendee and also as a guest of honor, which is why I was very excited and deeply honored that they reached out to me again for this year in the good old year of 2024 and have asked me to come back. So they didn't have to ask me twice. I said, yes, absolutely. KuroNekoCon is a convention happening in Spokane, Washington from July 19th to the 21st. I will be there all weekend as one of their cosplay guests where I have a pretty considerable handful of different events and panels that I plan on doing over the weekend. So if you're at all free or somewhere in the area or have been looking for an excuse to take a little cosplay related summer vacation, I cannot recommend Current Echo Con enough. So when it comes to plans over the weekend, um, I have a list written out for myself, which is why my eye contact may break once in a while. So bear with me as I run through my schedule. On the first day of Current Echo Con on Friday, it's a little bit of an atypical day for me because while I am busy and have a couple different events that I'm doing, I'm actually not going to be cosplaying for the first like half of the day, but there's a reason. So for the first part of the day, I will simply just be a little guy. I will just be myself because I'm hosting a very particular workshop that I'm very excited to try out. I've never hosted this before, but I've always wanted to do it and I've never seen something quite like this at a cosplay convention. And I'm very curious to see how this is received. So if you're at all interested in this topic, please stop by. I would love to have the opportunity to bounce ideas with you. It is my lip sync workshop called Let's Choreograph. What's exciting about this and what I'm really stoked about is Corona EchoCon has a lip sync battle event um, that I actually helped them start many years ago. Um, they initially approached me, I don't even remember what year it was. I think the first time they invited me as a guest, they reached out to me and asked me to help them basically troubleshoot and give them the rudimentary sort of framework of what might make a successful cosplay lip sync main event. And I was so excited to help out with that. And I've had the immense privilege of being able to host their lip sync since its conception and have a chance to perform in it as like a featured performer. So I will be doing that again this year. What I wanna do is host a workshop where I choreograph part of a lip sync performance live on stage in front of an audience and also get ideas from the audience, from you guys, and incorporate that and use that as a teaching opportunity and as a coaching tool to illustrate what my personal process is when it comes to choreographing a lip sync performance and the do's, the don'ts, tips and tricks that I might have, which may not work for everyone, but for anybody who is curious about how I go from point A to point Z, the start to finish thought process, the creative process of getting there from picking your character, picking your song, choreographing it, troubleshooting issues you might run into to actually performing it on stage or in front of a camera or whatever your outlet happens to be, I want to showcase that. If you're at all interested in that concept and want to not only see and watch and maybe learn something that you didn't know before about choreographing a performance like that, but also want to contribute and see your ideas put into action and learn the process of editing an idea and putting it into execution, please come join me. I would love to see you there and get your feedback about things. Like I said, this is going to be taking place on Friday and it's going to be from 2.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. This is a two-hour panel because I wanted to allow us plenty of time to play, to experiment, 
and try different things because that's truly what choreography is all about. It's about experimentation. Stop by, would love to see you. I will simply be a guy after that workshop is finished. Um, I'll stick around for a little bit afterwards if people have additional questions or wanna say hi or chit chat for a little bit. But after that, I will be returning back to my hotel room to change into actual cosplay because that evening, from 8.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m., there is a fan-hosted 18-plus lip-sync panel, which is hosted by my good friend Tsuki J on Instagram. I was one of the guest judges for that and also performed in it last year. You can watch that performance on my YouTube channel. It's the 18-plus lip-sync that I did as child from Genshin Impact. Jay reached out and asked if I would like to also participate in it this year since the panel got accepted and we now have access to the main events room, which is incredible. So I'll be there. Um, and I will be there as Grell from Black Butler. So if you would like to come see some amazing performances and have an amazingly good time, come by and see us. We would love to see you. I will be performing. The other judges who are all fantastic and talented people will also be performing. It's going to be so much fun. I promise you're gonna have a great time. For day two on Saturday, it's a very open day for me. So if you're looking to just kind of run into me or find me or chit chat, hang out for a little bit, Saturday is a great day to do it. I will be cosplaying as Satoshi from the older series uh, called D and Angel. If you don't know it, don't worry, I'm not surprised. <laughs> It's very near and dear to my heart. I've cosplayed a couple characters from this series because it was actually the very first manga that I ever picked up. So it was sort of a gateway series for me. If you are interested in getting into it, um, please read the manga. It is a million and a half times better than the anime. Anyhow, I'll be cosplaying Satoshi from Dian Angel and from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. I'll be doing a wig styling 101 panel, which is also a brand new panel that I have not done before. I've gotten a lot of requests over the years to share some of my wig styling tips and tricks, but up until this point, I really never felt qualified, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I think I've finally reached a point where I am reasonably confident that I could offer some sort of advice or tips about how to achieve a certain look for a wig that might help somebody. But if you're looking to learn a thing or two about wigs, maybe you've never really gotten that deeply into them before, or maybe you've, I don't know, seen wigs on another cosplay or seen the way that I style some of my wigs and have been like, how do you do that? How did you get there with that? What tools do you use? How do I, what's the technique there? It's a great opportunity to ask me because I'm going to be taking a lot of questions from the audience and then illustrating how to get that desired look for your wigs. Think of it as like the wig stylist starter pack of tools and techniques. That's basically what it is. On Sunday, that's main event lip sync day, baby. I will be bringing back an old time favorite. I will be cosplaying as Chat Noir from Miraculous. I will not be setting foot outside. It's going to be so hot. I will already be sweating even if I'm indoors. I'm really hoping this convention center still has some very powerful air conditioning. I could really use it. I will be at the lip sync rehearsal that starts at 11.30 a.m. If you are in the main event lip sync, you do need to be there. The actual lip sync battle event itself starts at 1 p.m. Seating will start prior to that, so make sure your schedule is open and clear if you wanna to try to get some good seats like half an hour beforehand. I will be hosting the entire event as Chat Noir, and I will also be performing at the end. So the cool thing about this is that the performance that I'm doing on Sunday, I'm gonna have most of it already planned out in my head, but one section of it is gonna be the same thing that I choreographed during my workshop, so if you come to the workshop on Friday and want to see those ideas implemented and mesh with an entire finished performance on stage, come to the lip sync on Sunday and you'll see it in action. And I'm really excited about this concept and I think it's gonna be really, really fun. After that, the only really obligated thing that I have left to do is a photo op, which is a great chance for you to come and see me, come say hi and grab pictures together in front of the Kuroneko Con backdrop. I will be there from three to 4 p.m. So for that whole hour, I'm all yours. So I think that pretty much sums it up, I'm pretty certain. Brief recap, Friday, 
I will be myself first half of the day for the lip sync workshop. And then I will be changing into Grell from Black Butler to be a judge for and also perform in the fan hosted 18 plus lip sync battle panel by my friend Zuki J. Saturday, I will be cosplaying Satoshi from D and Angel and doing my wig styling 101 panel. And on Sunday, I will be Chat Noir from Miraculous where I will be doing basically lip sync stuff and through the afternoon until my photo op where you can come and say hi. In between all of that, if you run into me and I'm not sitting down on the floor somewhere or actively shoving food in my face, I'm probably very open to like chit chat. I love that stuff. I love interacting with you guys and meeting as many people as I can. So that's about all I've got. Um, come see me at Current Echo Con. I'm really excited for it. It's, I know it's kind of coming up really soon and just around the corner. I will put links to Current Echo Con's website, their social media, and their schedule down in the description box below this video if you would like to check them out and learn more about other things they have going on, as well as the other guests that they have invited, the other talented and wonderful people that will be there all weekend. You can find my other social medias down below as well. Um, as always, I post more current and like update things more frequently on my Instagram. You can see photos there from the con. You can keep up to date with kind of where I'm at and what I'm doing via my story. I have to go now because it is right around the corner. And while I don't have a ton of stuff to do, I have more things to do than I should. So I have to get back to con crunching. So it's been fun. Thanks for hanging out with me and listening and hope to see you there. And Regardless, whether you'll be there or not, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care, all right? See you next time.